Baraka the Yahawa, Baraka the Yahawa Shai, Baraka the Yahawa, Barsham Yahawa Shai, Barsham Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, peace and salutation of the Akiyam, pushing out the word and truth and sincerity of the hopeful elect around the globe. I'd like to entitle this Pray on the Scary Times, all right? Okay? Because the scary times are inevitable, all right? When something can't be avoided, is part of uh, the Lord's plan. It's part of the Lord's will, you know. Um, so a sister asked me about the Lord's Prayer the other day, you know. I can't remember the, the particular question, but just something uh, along the lines of it. And I recall just speaking on it how even something like the Lord's Prayer, you know, um, uh, uh, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, okay? The way that the will of the heavenly father is going to be done on earth as it is in heaven is through calamity and destruction and woe as it is written because that's what the lord wrote okay so even while we're in heavy prayer okay we have to be in heavy prayer in sync with the heavenly father and and not to pray for things outside of it you know to, to pray for so-called world peace in a time of, of calamity when we're not in that season is a, is a prayer out of season, okay? The peace is going to happen when the, the children of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and West Indians, all right, scattered abroad, the, the you so-called, um you know, minorities are back in power, okay? Under the heavenly father and his only begotten son, uh, a righteous power, okay? It says that he will rule with an iron rod, all right? So back to the lesson, you know, we have to pray for the scary times because we can't get around them. We're going to have to go through them. The scriptures talks about us being put through the fire. OK, that's spiritual, but it, it manifests physical. OK, you're going to have to go and, and be tried. The scriptures talk about um, when the most high returns, when, when his son returns, will he find faith on the earth. OK, so the way that the Lord is going to be scouring for faith. And and the elect are gonna prove their faith is being is being put through trials, okay. So we got the quick definition of pray, all right. Off the Google, pray means to address a solemn request or expression of thanks to a deity or other object of worship. So us knowing the heavenly Father, we know that we're supposed to address a, or a solemn request or expression of thanks, always in, in gratitude and, and and reverence. Okay, we're fear and trembling. All right, we're supposed to fear that heavenly Father. We're supposed to um, uh, approach Him um, very fearful uh, uh, with reverence. Okay, with respect, with the utmost respect. All right, that's what reverence means. And address a solemn request. Okay, you pray on it, or expression of thanks to a deity. All right, the heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh, His Son Yahweh Shai. Okay, and it says that. Um, there, there is no other name under the heaven by which we shall be saved. So when we pray, we got to remember to pray to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. What Yahweh Shai? Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai means Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of his son. Okay, Bahashem Rakak Wadash means uh, uh, in the name of the Holy Spirit as well. Okay, because through the Holy Spirit is that we understand uh, the, the Holy Word of the Heavenly Father. Okay. And we address a solemn request or expression, all right? We, um, we, uh, we address a solemn request, okay, when, when we pray, right? We got James 5 and 16. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much, okay? So in times that we're coming up, you know what I'm saying? We have to be under heavy prayer, Okay, that's the only thing that's gonna avail being in touch with the scriptures and having this word now, um, uh, flowing through your belly, okay, as rivers of living water. Okay, scripture should come to mind because you're digesting this word. So, in heavy prayer, you incorporate the, the will of the Lord, all right, protection, things like protection, guidance, all right, mercy, okay, faith, give me more faith, all right. More, more strength to endure because we're gonna have to go through the fire, okay. Second uh, Corinthians 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, 
but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. So if you're a brother waking up, you know, Romans 13, 11 says it is high time to wake out of sleep, okay? You are of the possible hopeful elect. The Lord could be dealing with you if he's manifesting himself in your conscience. And I'm saying that you you feel the, the times, you see the times, you feel this word, all right, resonates with you, okay? No matter what you may look like, you may be a children of Israel, okay? This is your word, this is your book. You're supposed to come back to your power, okay? And pray to your higher power, okay? Address, uh, that, uh, address solemnly, all right? Very seriously, okay? Or with thanks, gratitude, all right, for for good things and bad, just like Job said, all right. And we're we knowing the terror of the Lord, us uh, starting with the apostles on down, okay, brothers in the know that that have been called to push this word, okay. Since we know the terror of the Lord, and we know that we're gonna have to go through it, we persuade men. We trying to seek out our people, the righteous fruit, okay. We try to persuade men to come back into the fold, their power, abandon whatever bullshit, so-called Roman Catholicism, so-called Christianity, so-called Buddha, so-called Muslim, all right? Come back to your power because it's the only protection that we have. We do this because we love our people, okay? Let's jump, and, and through heavy prayer is that our people have to, you know, come into... Through heavy prayers that our people have to come into into who who we are, all right, um, and find their power and cleave unto their power. The scriptures talk about to cleave to the Lord, all right. Let me get this a couple of precepts right here. Pray for the righteous, all right. Show a prayer. Psalms 143 and 1, a psalm of David. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness, answer me, and in thy righteousness. All right? Because the Lord is faithful to who? To Israel. So if we cry out to him, supplicate to him. All right? Let's go into that word for supplications, the Hebrew word, takanan. All right? Supplication, supplication for favor. Okay? We're begging to the Heavenly Father, supplicating to Him for favor, all right? Earnest prayer, entreaty, supplication, all right? Let's get a couple precepts regarding the supplication as well. The Lord is far from the wicked, but He hears, uh, Proverbs 15 and 29, The Lord is far from the wicked, but He heareth the prayer of the righteous, all right? So how you maintain righteousness going into the the book, seeking your power, being cleansed by the word, taking heed to the word, all right? Psalms 119 and 9 says that uh, how shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto to thy word, okay? Okay. First Peter 3 and 12, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. OK, so again, if you're turning your face of the Lord, you're looking for the Lord. You're trying to repent from wicked ways. You're trying to deny the world and trying to walk in his righteousness the best as possible. Then the Lord is upon you for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are upon uh, are open unto their prayers but the face of the lord is against them that do evil so how is the face of the lord against you if you do evil okay if not the lord is with you the lord is for his people seek that relationship pray all right let's get let's get a couple precepts where supplicate okay supplication right that's that deep fervent prayer entreaty Okay. So like yeah, there's a certain verse I was looking for. First Kings, let's go in first Kings eight forty five. 
then hear thou in heaven their prayer and their supplication and maintain their cause. This is going to be uh, in the last days for also towards the elect. All right. This is always or how how the Lord was going to hear his people. All right. No matter where we were scattered. All right. We were supposed to, uh, you know, uh, face towards the east, face towards home. OK. The the great temple. OK. But right now we're, we're scattered all over the world. So uh, as long as we're in heavy prayer. OK. But whenever, if at all possible, yes, you should face the east, you know, bow your head hands out you know palms uh, uh, facing the sky to uh, you know uh, with, with that with that deep reverence to that heavenly father and to his power you know cry out to him okay then hear thou in heaven their prayer and their supplication and maintain their cause all right our cause is to get the fuck out of here to be saved true salvation not, not fake christianity bullshit that you're already saved you're already saved because you accepted the Lord. Like, were anything to anyone to accept the Lord, all right? The Lord is a fearful, terrible power, and, and we're, we're trying to get in his good graces for him to accept us. We're not accepting him, all right? That's that, that Christian dogma bullshit, all right? Favor, supplication, supplication for favor. What's the favor that we want? Salvation. We want to get in the Lord's good graces, then hear thou in heaven their prayer and their supplication and maintain their cause. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. All right. Because it was going to come the time that we we were not going to be able to keep the law perfectly. All right. Sin is transgression of the law. Once you transgress one or one job, one title of the law, you transgress against the whole thing. OK, so every man sinneth. All right, and thou be angry if they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy far or near. All right, that's exactly what has happened to us. That's the curses of Deuteronomy 28 that the Lord said would happen. All right, yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land where they were carried captives, all right, if they shall bethink themselves. All right, to remember, to return, turn back, to remember, to turn back, return, to turn back, to return, come, or go back, to return, unto, go back, come, come back. All right, so basically going back to your 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 her heritage, this thing, this heritage that we fell away from, as it is written in Jeremiah, okay, that we were going to discontinue from our heritage, all right? But if we will return to our heritage, yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captives, all right, great U.S. So great U.S. of A. fits that description as well. It was one of the many lands we were carried away captives, whither they were carried captives, and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried. In the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. All right. So if we repent, we truthfully come back to the Lord. All right. No bullshit in him. All right. Not, not acting that, like we're, we're holier than thou, that we're the wretched worms that he said that Jacob was. All right. Our forefather Jacob, he called thou Jacob a worm. Okay. So we have to humble ourselves carried themselves saying we have sinned and have done perversely we have committed wickedness and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies which led them away captive all right and pray unto thee toward their land which thou gavest unto their fathers the city which thou hast chosen and the house which i have built for thy name okay then hear thou their, their prayer and their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause. And forgive thy people that have sinned against thee, and all their transgression, wherein they have transgressed against thee. And give them compassion before them who carried them captive, that they may have compassion on them. All right? For they be thy people and thine inheritance, which thou broughtest forth out of the out of Egypt from the midst of the furnace of iron. And right now we're about to be in the midst of the furnace of iron all over again with this devil trying to come upon the earth with great wrath. 
okay? And the only uh, the only chance we have is this true salvation and exodus from it, protection from it, okay? A way out, okay, which is only found in the Lord, all right? Let's get that. Refuge. Lord. Is there an Isaiah? Psalm 46 and 7. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The God of Jacob. Okay. Psalms 91 and 2, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust, okay? So that that's who we pray to, that's who we supplicate to, that's who we address, and uh, the solemn request, okay? Pray for the scary times, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my, my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Because that was Psalms 91 and 9, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. But I was looking for something in Isaiah. All right. Bear with me. Isaiah 41 and 12. Yeah, 41 and 10. Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So again, if the Lord is going to uphold you with the right hand of his righteousness, it's because you're doing righteous acts, right? That's when you have nothing to fear. If not, you have everything to fear. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. So... You're, you're, you're supposed to have unwavering faith. All right, let's go into that Greek, or that Hebrew word for dismayed. Shawa, meaning to look at or to regard, gaze at or about. All right, that, that reminds me of Lot's wife, you know. She she looked at, looked back, all right, gazed at, about, you know. She was, the, uh, she was dismayed. She didn't have um, that strong faith. All right. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. We can't have that weak faith. All right. For I am thy guide. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. So who's helping us? The heavenly father himself. All right. Through the savior, Yahweh Shah, his son, the Holy Spirit, the angels. All right. We're not alone. No man is alone. Every man of the whole full 144,000, the elect, all right, man, woman, and child, uh, part of the elect body of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, we are not alone. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Okay? So that's who we pray to. That's who we believe in. Okay, and the Lord is going to be our refuge, uh, Psalms 34, all right, we we'll always get this because Psalms 34 and 7 reads, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them, all right, so when you fear the Lord, he's going to be in your thoughts for you to walk righteously, for you to walk right, you're going to check yourself, you're going to examine yourself, you're going to check your spirit, you're going to know if you're drinking too much, if you're fucking too much, if you're playing around too much, if you're not serious enough, if you're not solemn, if you're not focused, are you not to, uh, up on, on your dietary law, are you not up on your exercise, you're not taking care of your temple, and you're not up on your studies, you're not digesting this word, you're not examining your spirit, you're being wicked, you're going off, all right? The Lord is going to, uh, that angel of the Lord is going to encampeth around you, all right? 
because you you truly fear the Lord. And then he's the, that angel that that's walking with you because you're walking sincerely and fervently, all right, and faithfully. He's going to deliver you. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. All right. So we got to know that who, who we pray to, who do we address the solemn request to. All right. Who do we uh, be thankful to in, in all things. All right. Going through it or not, like like how Job went through it, and he was still, you know, uh, uh, um, he was still grateful and, and maintained his integrity. We're supposed to maintain our integrity, all right. So with that, I'm not gonna make this too long or, or any longer than than it already is. Twenty minutes roundabout, all right. Well, I'm gonna say all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash, Shalom. All honor, glory, and praise to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. All right, till next time, Shalom.